That's not slick. He's creeping out the back door. He's Mr. Flamboyant. He can't go to the bathroom without issuing a press release. If he were making changes that big and handing over control and going on an extended vacation... You know, the papers from the Wall Street Journal to the National Enquirer. Thank you. Dan, I just talked to the controller at the airport. Roth's plane left at 10 a.m. for Los Angeles. Two minutes later, it dropped below radar level, and they haven't heard from him since. You know what I'm saying? You mean the plane's missing? No, don't worry. He does it all the time to cover his tracks. He probably had no intention of going to L.A. So you think everything's okay? This doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know Slick would not leave town without talking to me. Unless... Uh, unless he was forced to. Uh, that's crazy. Nobody makes Philip Roth do anything. Dan, who's this new Rodmore guy? Where's he coming from? J.T. Rodmore? It's a good question. Why don't you call our contacts in Reno, Tahoe, and Atlantic City? If Slick put him in charge of a casino, he's got to have a casino background, right? You want me to call Lieutenant Nelson and see if Rodmore has a record? I don't even get to call the shots around here anymore. We're a well-trained team coach. Now, what are you going to do? Well, there are only three people in this town Slick might trust completely. Maybe they know where he is, huh? And I'll start with Rosie. <laughs> 